and the Lord has sent me with a message that says I have seen your suffering I have heard your cry I have seen your oppression under the taskmasters and the Lord says I have come to deliver you and to take you out of where you have been and lead you to a spacious land a land that flows with milk and honey get ready you are going somewhere my God is about to do a miraculous thing that will make other people to follow him if what is about to happen in your life today shall make somebody to follow Christ, it has to be a big thing. It has to be a miracle. It has to be something that you cannot achieve on your own. It has to be something that you would never have gotten on by yourself. My Lord, my doctor, is about to do something in my life that will make other people to come to Christ. Bithora, I obey. My name is Obey. Loe bright. And he's bright. Go itele in night of testimony last year. We came here during the night of testimony last year. Ina problem ikulu yendi sana a bondelo ikolo. We came here, we had a problem. My younger brother had a broken knee. And he had a plaster on the leg. He had one year, six months. We spent one year, six months. The, doctor kept, the doctors kept on sending him back home saying that they, he needed to amputate the leg. I would like to thank Pastor Mukuba. I would like to thank her for the hand, her hand that when, uh, she touched her. When after the week after Pastor Mokoba laid her hand on him, we went to the hospital, the bones that were not coming together. And they said that the leg needed to be amputated. After Pastor Mokoba prayed for him, they then said that he, he didn't have to be amputated but they had to remove the rod that was inside his leg car hit me you were hit by a car yeah so that the broken when I think I got one year six months being it's carried. more than a year one year six months one year six months being carried this thing so the bones are not coming together yeah not getting so for one year six months with this yeah 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 I started coming to Unity Fellowship Church on the 8th of April. I came here because I had a problem at work. I had failed the medical fitness at work. 
While I was seated here at church, Pastor The pastor was praying, then she said, All those that are in pain should touch where the pain is. After praying, she then said, We should start testing ourselves. When I started feeling my body, I felt that there was change. She asked what the problem was. I then told her that I had failed the medical fitness test at work. And the barren then they said that my heart was swollen it was as if I had two hearts and they had said that my liver was not working properly when I came to the front the pain was gone and then I then told the pastor that I was going to a specialist on the 2nd of May. And then Pastor Van Kongele. Then she prayed for me. When I went to the specialist on the second, I then said, I'm here to confirm my healing. The doctor checked everything. Then the doctor said to me, what they had said you have, you don't have. He, he did a scan, the doctor showed me the, uh, the scan of my heart and my liver. My heart and my liver. There was nothing there. Before 40 days, First thing, I no problem. La, I could ring that the pain is going to be in. It's under Ghana. We hear before the 40 days fast, I had a problem in my stomach. There was something in my stomach, and I couldn't even stand. So I decided to go the first thing. I decided to embark on the fasting. So look, Sugarman in a cadog, turn let a check out. Cause I got a problem in. One day, I went to the doctor to check what the problem was. The doctor checked me and said, I've got a very big growth in my stomach. And said that I needed to go to a gynecologist to go and remove the whole womb because the growth was too big. In the morning, the last day of the 40 days fast, when I tried to get off the bed, I felt that there was something very big that wanted to come out. When I checked, I found that there was a very big clot of black blood. So I took a bath and prepared to come to church. So on a Monday, before first Tuesday, on Monday, before the first Tuesday service, I went back to the doctor. Then the doctor said, I cannot see anything. I don't believe what I'm seeing, but I will refer you to another gynecologist. So he chose first Tuesday, first Tuesday service, I came to church. When the pastor was busy preaching here, she then said, Receive your healing. I then found myself in front here. So each was the lay up with the Agun Kelela Futeka Kanolochologist Lenga Rumelwakayo. Last week, Tuesday, I went to the gynecologist I was referred to. When I got there, the, the gynecologist asked me what I wanted there. I then said, I've got a paper here, please read it. He, the gynecologist said, what is written on the paper and what I see now is not the same. And, and said to me, there's nothing in your womb. Your womb is clear. I can't see anything. Yeah.